Hello there. I am a deep and incredibly complex poet. <laughs> Here to talk to you tonight about hard times. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those. <laughs> I was performing here tonight, and I turned up five minutes before the show began. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> was, really, <laughs> was really complex poets are always best. We're self-obsessed, we're stylishly dressed, and we always have our hair in a mess. <laughs> we can always write upon request testaments of poetical zest, and we never rest until you process the quality of our complexity. <laughs> <laughs> we cover the reasons why war is moronic and how everything has become electronic. We're metaphoric in every topic. Even if it isn't, we'll make it symbolic. <laughs> we talk about dreams and what it all means and how reality is not what it seems. We talk about the Queen and oppressed teens and how our ambitions have torn at the seams. <laughs> And we always must reference social norms and political tax reforms and how everybody is a pawn and how thus society should transform. We talk about thongs and everything wrong with our world, our lives and our unheard tongues. We talk about change and how things move on and forget Bob Dylan ever wrote that song. <laughs> Bob who? <laughs> <laughs> We boast about nature and things in the sun <laughs> and how us poets like to strip off and run. <laughs> we talk about beauty and youthful fun and all the things that we have already begun. We say poetry is a sign of the times regardless of whether the stanzas rhyme. But behind the words, whatever you find, there will always be reference. Love. <laughs> <coughs> <Played it. coughs> we reference light and all things bright and talk about glittering stars at night, how you fight to stay in flight and push onwards with all your might. We teach you about our poetical plight, setting words alight with no respite, and despite the delight of what we recite, we know deep down we are still the deepest. <coughs> right. <laughs> Yet despite this, people reject me. And this often upsets me, but I guess they're the ones who just don't get me. You get me. <laughs> uh, it's funny because I'm middle class. <laughs> I mean, basically they're the ones who just cannot relate or associate with the words I vibrate. The truth of it is, let's face it, I'm great! <laughs> and we just have to accept that the haters are going to hate. Like those competitions I never win, where I'm kicked out before I even begin when they tell me the way that I write is a sin, that I must write my poetry their way, or akin. Yeah. Like the people who mystified my mental state after I applied to this writing workshop when they denied but themselves the brilliance I could have supplied. <laughs> like that time when I came last in this poetry contest that ended fast after all the judges on mass declared my style a thing of the past. <laughs> Who are they to say that? I mean, judges just sit there judging people. <laughs> if you want my opinion, they're shallow. Too shallow to understand just how truly deep I am. You see, only I can understand just how truly deep I am. <laughs> that's what makes me a tortured artist. <laughs> and that's what makes me great at what I do. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> so you see, many times I'm turned away just because I'm too awesome to play, but my integrity makes me this way, and I would prefer this truth to stay. So here will I forever be dwelling in my own company. <laughs> Forever alone. <laughs> you see, I told you I was deep. <laughs> <laughs>